Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a build tutorial for the video I made about the level 9 steam engine. If you're lazy like me you can get the world download from that video and just schematic cannon it into your builds or whatever but if you want to build it yourself and want to understand how this works then this is the video for you. So to get started you're going to be needing these materials right here. You don't need two water buckets you just need some water sources and you'll be good to go. Another rack here is optional. This is just for scaffolding for you to get around your build. These oak logs are for the fuel powering the blaze burners and you can of course use your own fuel for this so it doesn't have to be oak logs but in my particular factory I used oak logs. There's some expensive parts here as well, a rotation speed control, a mechanical arm. A wrench will be useful as well for you to build this pretty easily. So to get started, you place down four campfires like this. You can use soul campfires for this if you want to make it look a bit more fancy and it might fit your builds a bit better. But I'm just using normal campfires here. And then on top of this, we place one, two, three, four fluid tanks and then four more on top. Then we come to this side and place down two mechanical pumps and on top of that, two pipes going into the fluid tank. Then on top of this block here, we're gonna place down a steam engine. And from this, we're gonna have a shaft coming out. Make sure it's vertical. If it's not, you can always spin it using your wrench. And then a stressometer coming out from there. Then on the floor, place down two cog wheels like this and a hand crank on top. So you should have this. Underneath your build, you're gonna to want to dig out two blocks like this and then two blocks on either side and fill this two by three with water. I'm just gonna come around here, place one, two, one, two. So all these blocks should be water sources. If they are not water sources, then the water is not gonna be filling this tank constantly and this whole thing is going to stop working. So for the next part, we're gonna come around to this side of our build and tower up with three fluid pipes. Do three at a time and make them all clear so that they don't feed into this fluid tank. Same with over here, one, two, three. Clear, 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 and then one, two, three. Clear, clear, clear. Right, so you should have something like that. And on top of all of these, we're gonna place down one, two, three more mechanical pumps. Make sure that these arrows are pointing up, so all you have to do is use your wrench and have them pointing up. We might need to come around and make sure that these are reversed. And while we're at it, make sure that these are pointing up as well. Then we come on top of our mechanical pumps and place down a cog right here. In this corner, we're gonna place down a depot and a hopper running into that with a chest on top. And of course, fill this chest up with logs for now we're gonna we're gonna use you can of course hook this up to your wood farm just place a chute here we're going to carry on towering with our fluid pipes seven more blocks so one two one two three four five six seven and of course make them all clear except for the top one so once you've done that you should have something that looks like this you have all the pipes clear make sure you leave the ones at the top because they're the ones that actually go into the fluid tank. You can skip a few of these fluid pipes and have, have this top layer down here going to the fluid tank. I just like to have my pipes coming up so I can see them like in this factory up here. I can actually see the water coming up into the tank. That's just a personal preference. You can save a few pipes if you're low by just having this a bit lower. So now we're gonna come back down here and place down our blaze burners like so. So three there and then three coming out. Now, of course, you could do this one block lower. It's up to you. You can save yourself some space. If you don't have as much uh, ceiling height, you can bring this one block lower. But I'm choosing to do it like this. And then we're just going to take our mechanical arm and just right click on all these blaze burners. You'll see a yellow outline to show that this is where it's going to deposit the items. And before we place it down, we're just going to right click on this as well on our depot. When we place down our mechanical arm, we should see at the bottom, it should say one input and nine outputs. There you can see one input, nine outputs. If it doesn't say that, you might've missed one and you just need to pick it up and do it again. 
Next, we turn around and face this shaft that we placed down earlier and we place down a vertical gearbox on top. You might need to spin this around so that it faces the side. And then from the side, we're gonna place down a clutch leading into a large cogwheel, which is going to have a rotation speed control underneath. Make sure you set this to 128 RPM, like so. And then from this, we're gonna have two shafts coming out with again, a vertical gearbox and just one cogwheel on top. So this should be hooking up to the mechanical arm. So the mechanical arm will spin, it will spin this cogwheel, which will spin all three of our pumps at the same time. And just down here on our clutch, we're gonna place down a lever. It doesn't have to be down here, I just prefer it down here so I can access it from this kind of ground level. You can even hook it up to a redstone link and then make sure this is turned on. Then you're gonna to wanna to come up here and place down the rest of your fluid tanks on top of these blaze burners. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then just one, two, three more layers on top. So we should have something like this. Then on the top layer, we place our three steam engines. Same with this layer and this layer, which leaves a, a nice little display for us to see. And here, of course, you can build your ground level the way I have. It's up to you how you want to place this in your factory. We're going to come back down here and similar to how we place down water sources for these mechanical pumps, we need to do the same thing over here. So dig out one, two, three, one, two, three on this side and one, two, three on this side. This just ensures that you're not going to run out of water as these mechanical pumps are doing their work. Make sure they're all source blocks. You can use your F3 menu for that. And with that, the build is done. Of course, you would need to place some of your shafts like this to actually get your power outputs. Right, but it's up to you how you configure that. So I'm not gonna include this in my, in my build. So now that this is built, let's have a go at making sure it works. You're gonna wanna make sure that this is engaged. So you disconnect the rest of the machine. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that these fluid pumps are pointing up. Same with these ones up here. They might change once this machine gets started. So you need your wrench to switch them back around. But to get this started, we're going to keep an eye on our stressometer and start spinning this. What we'll notice is the stressometer goes up to a max and then comes back down to about here. At that point, we can let go of our hand crank and do the next step. So let's try that. We start spinning, you can see it maxes out on the right, comes back down, not quite to zero, and that's our sign to let go. As you can see, the fluid pump has switched direction, so we do need to switch this around. This one looks okay, so we're gonna give it another go. Comes back down, and if we let go this time, it should not stop, which looks good. You can see that the boiler status is in passive, and we have our stress capacity over here. Right, for the next step, we are going to flick this lever and you notice that the mechanical arm goes to work, fueling all those blaze burners. And as you can see over here, our water is coming up as well. Actually in the middle, it doesn't seem to be going up. So we need to switch this around. If we didn't switch it around, you can see it's at level six. So if we switch this back around, the water goes up and we have level nine. And this is our system working. Thank you for sticking around until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful. Leave a like, subscribe, all of that good stuff and leave some comments for what you want me to build next. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.